my favourite story probably is the 2020 last year. Um, the 2020 last year, I had the, the horrible job of coach has of going to Pete, who had the, was one person out of the team. And I literally went to him every day, every time he played and said, listen, mate, we were playing great cricket, we won a trophy. Uh, Pete, you've just missed out. Um, and he kept doing his training, kept doing his prep, kept having his bat, and we all did it. And then as luck would have it, on the semi-final, Nash hurt his knee. Um, and Pete was ready to play because he prepared every day as though that might come, with no guarantees of it coming. And it did come. Um, and all the way through, that, I think all that stuff, you've been going on the field and saying, like, yes, we're fine, keep going, especially the batters. I think probably Ducky was the one you probably said it to most. And it seemed quite fitting in some ways when you walked out, Ducky probably said it the other way. I think, listen, mate, you just relax and play. And within five overs, we dominated the game, we played the aggressive style we did, and we, we got into a winning position, we won a trophy. And you, know, and you walking around the boundary with that trophy, I think, was something I'll remember forever. It was fantastic, and it sort of summed up how you go about your cricket, mate. You always give it 100%, and it was just reward for, for the work you've done with us over the two years. So it gives me great pleasure for Steve, on behalf of the club, to present this to you from the players in the club. Here you go! Yeah, um, lads. I mean, I could walk. I could go from man to man uh, around this circle and have uh, so, uh, something positive. Um, this really sort of touched me, and I hope through you know my time, you know, here and you know, maybe even as an opponent, you've all got a little Trigo story up your sleeve, which would obviously um, yeah we can laugh about in the future because um, I'll always be around the game, I'll always be around this club and you know we can share a few beers and celebrate your successes as they move forward. Um, but I think you know, I've only got a short period of time because I know you're all starving and you've got a game to win. But if I could just mention you know, Mick and Pete in particular, um, when I left Somerset um, I still had a lot, in the, lot, of in, lot of something in the tank and I, I, I didn't really know what that was about, but I had this yearning to carry on as a cricketer, and I just like I said, I still had a bit of dirt in the basement, I wanted to get out. I had um, a number of conversations with different people, nobody got me, nobody understood me, but Pete, Pete Moores gave me the opportunity to finish a long career with, um, with dignity um, and to be honoured by this club, to lead in the Royal London, even though we didn't quite make it through. Um, Makes me walk away from the game a very happy man. So, Pete, personally to you, uh, thank you very much for that. All the coaches have been unbelievable. Franksy on the pirate ship, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's been amazing. And to play for this club and be honoured in such a way, very, very special to me. And um, I wish you all well, um, but I will not be a stranger. And please don't be a stranger back on the phones or however you want to contact me. So, um, thank you very, very much. and. Um, Win this game, because me and Nashi want to be uh, lords for uh, <laughs> one final hurrah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>